I'm from Kenosha, Wisconsin, um, small city. Uh, everyone knows everyone. I have lots of family there. My parents would always say, like, my brother played basketball, and I would be at his games, like, yelling at the refs, and they would say, like, you're going to get kicked out of the games and stuff. So then they put me into a little league and um, just remember being bigger than everyone else. I played two years with Midwest Elite. At first, it was hard for me to adjust um, going to that team and stuff and just playing EYBL basketball because I've never done that. The coach just gave me the freedom to kind of do what I do. He was letting me dribble, shoot the ball. I mean, I really never had to take the ball out until I went to Midwest Elite and then he's like, the four is gonna take the ball out every time. And if you didn't, you are gonna run. So um, I'm kind of glad he did that so that when I came here, I knew like, just hurry up and take the ball out and get the um, offense going. We saw that kid in middle school. I was like, wow, one, she's tall. <laughs> She's tall, but two, she's so skilled, you know? I mean, a very skilled, tall, athletic kid is, is hard to come by, especially at such a young age. Um, you know, she and she has this competitive spirit about her, too. If you're around her, she's very, very competitive. And so that that those are the things I noticed the most, and, and especially early in when she was in eighth, ninth grade. Purdue was the first school to offer me in seventh grade. After that, they started kind of piling up and then with you know my mom's help, I started understanding more of like how much of a big deal it was getting all these scholarships. They would come over, I'd like play the piano. Um, I play four instruments, so I just kind of showed them like, if basketball doesn't work out, I'll have something else to do. My dad builds guitars and writes his own stuff, so um, just that he kind of influenced me on the music side as well. Um, but yeah, I just play little tunes for them. So I'm not much of a singer, so they didn't get any of that. <laughs> Today we are excited to present Sydney Cooks with an honorary game jersey and hat commemorating her selection to the McDonald's All-American Game. I was able to reconnect with a lot of the girls I had played with and two of my best friends um, were both on the team so it was just nice to see them again and just kind of battle. I mean. We're all great players, so it was fun to just go out there, have no plays, and just show everyone what you can do. I think I, in my heart, like I knew since the first day I had ever came on Michigan State campus that like this was the place for me. I just love the atmosphere. Every time there was a game, like the crowd would go crazy. Um, the girls are always nice, laughing and goofy, just like myself. So um, I just I knew since like eighth grade that Michigan State was definitely gonna be in my top five. And then once I came for my official, I was like, this is the place I need to be. We heard her name nonstop. Uh, we were really excited to get her on the team to see what she could do. It's a lot different, you know, coming from high school. You could do a lot of things in high school, but coming to the Big Ten is different. And I think that she's shown that she can play in the Big Ten, obviously. And here comes Lexi Gustard from left to right, to the elbow, kicked out to the left corner. Cooks tries again and knocks it down. Sydney Cooks, right wing three is good. Sydney Cooks knocking it down from long range in her Spartan debut. For my teammates to trust me as a freshman to come in and, you know, pass me the ball and just believe in me that, you know, I can score and I can get a stop, I can block the shot. Like, um, I think that helped a lot. And that gave me a lot of confidence, you know, coming into the Big Ten play now. Like, I know what they expect out of me. They know how I can play. I know how they can play. So I think, like, the expectations for each other now are high. I think she just loves life. I mean, I think it exudes in her game. She's she's a confident person. She knows who she is. And a lot of kids that are 18 years old have no idea who they are. You know, they try to be something that social media wants them to be. They try to be something their parents want them to be. She just comes in every day. She, she knows what she likes. She loves things. She knows who she is. And I think that's why she's such a confident, engaging, you know, a lot of personality. She's just fun to be around. Right here, freshmen. We have our Americans going. Look at those. Yes. Look at those. Yes. 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 
Every time a song comes on and we look at each other, we just like give each other the shoulder. So we know what's going on. Like we always hype each other up when we're dancing. Honestly, I think we have the same personality. That's just my sister from another person. It's just really fun having her around. And you know, when she got here, we took her under the wing and ever since then, always been close. I just try to keep a smile on my face and on others. I'm definitely funny, goofy. Um, anything I can do to help someone feel better. She's just a funny person. Like she's very outgoing, um, always has energy, always is smiling, laughing. Um, it brings us a lot of energy in practice, outside of practice. Um, she's really fun to be around. Nia and Coco, they're probably the other two goofy ones on the team, um, so we instantly click. Um, me and Nia have been playing against each other since like third grade, so we, it's ironic that like now we're actually teammates. Me, Nia, and Sydney, we like to watch Spongebob, so we're always, you know, mimicking Spongebob episodes, or we'll say something and Nia or Sydney will be like, oh, I remember that episode from Spongebob, and it's just, you know, it's just always fun with those two. She did a really good job in the first couple months getting stronger and adapting. I can just see how much she's grown already, so it's really exciting to see uh, what she's going to do in the next three years. Coach always says I'm like a Kevin Durant, kind of the long, lanky shooter, can post up. So um, I think just bringing that here, you know, like last game I can post up, or if you need me to shoot the three, I'll shoot the three. Um, if you just need me to pass the ball, I'll pass the ball. So whatever, you know, whatever the team needs, whatever coach needs out of me, I'm willing to do that. She's just one of those unique players that people just have to watch out for because nobody's expecting a 6'4 player to, you know, be the best three-point shooter on the team. She fits in the style of play. I think she's a very team-oriented kid. It's all about getting the win. Um, she's feisty, right? Like. For a big 6'4 kid, she doesn't like, you know, people coming at her and I think she, people around this locker room understand that she has their back and usually freshmen are kind of wide-eyed and looking around waiting for somebody else and she's not like that. I mean, she's a very confident kid that steps forward and knows what she can do and she's got everybody's back. Young man. Just seeing all my old teammates and other and other players, former players that have showed up and it, it's it's just makes it a lot of fun and being able to see a game and taking a game that playing on the court in the in the Breslin Center. So it's it's a fun experience to relive your your old days. <laughs> all right, welcome back, Spartans. It's cool, it's fun, it's, you know, really um, amazing actually. It's fun to watch the pictures scroll through. It's cool how it's blending the men's and women's programs. It's the feeling of coming to Breslin, parking in the, in the parking lot. I was, you know, I love talking to my kids about it and, you know, just reliving just my experience. I don't know if there's one specific thing, but just being back in the building, it's a special feeling and getting to interact with my former players and seeing the current players. It's a, it's a fun experience. I think it's really fun to be back. I've been back for, again, probably five or six as well. Um, I love seeing my former teammates and spending the day and it feels really energetic to be on campus and be at the game and watch the, the game and see all the things that uh, these student athletes are experiencing a lot of the things that we didn't get to experience, but it's just meant it's part of the growth of the sport. So I think it's great. It's great to be back and to be see people like the coaches. Susie was a player at camp where we worked, so we get to see her when we used to coach her as coaches. It's really kind of fun.
This might be a very stiff test today against the Indiana Hoosiers, a team they did beat earlier this season, but the Spartans are much more shorthanded now than they were earlier. There's Jenna Allen, who is very effective scoring it in the first meeting, and to your point, they want to attack in the paint. Cuts it at the top, crosses over, gets into the lane. The runner is up and through. Tough take by Taryn McCutcheon. Taryn gives it to Ryber. She's on the right sideline. Now puts up a long two and knocks it down. Good to see the jump shot falling for Taya Ryber. Gaines off the shot fake, nicely done, and she finishes through contact. Michigan State clawed back in that second quarter, mixing their defenses between 3-2 and man-to-man -to, -man to get back into the game. So the lead was as large as 26 in that second quarter. That's been cut in half. Toss to Reimer left wing. Bounce pass into the post. AG left block, working on Cahill. Steps through and lays it in. Quick pass inside to Cooks, working against a guard. She lays it up, no good. Got her own board, back up. This one's good. Sydney Cooks has that range as she swoops in, and here come the Spartans. Allen into the post, Holly makes the catch, gets through the double and lays it in. So the Spartans respond. Gives to Gaines on the right wing. She puts up a three and buries it. Her eighth of the year. And it couldn't have come at a bigger moment. Three point game. Michigan State has willed its way back. An injury plate season for the Spartans. No Shea Colley. She would be the one on Tyra Buss, and Buss has 27 in this game. But yet, despite all of that, the Spartans with the chance here. Crosses over with Ted. Still has the dribble. Nine left. Gets a screen. Puts up a three. No good. Rebound grabbed by Cahill and a foul called. That'll be the dagger. So a valiant effort by MSU today, down by 26. This is Susie Merchant, our coach. Hi there. Hi, How are you? Mark. Nice to meet you. Welcome to meet you. Welcome to Michigan State. I am here. This is our team. Team. team, you can wait for them. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Wow. Nice to meet you. You're a fan of this guy. No. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the whole program. The whole program. <laughs> Likewise. Mr. Crew, come over here and introduce yourself. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet, nice to meet everyone. Hi, I'm Sydney. Hi, I'm Sydney.